Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, received at Heliopolis Palace today the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid al-Zayani. The Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, to President al-Sisi, and their wishes of continued prosperity for Egypt and its people. The President praised the strong brotherly relations between the two countries and people affirming the keenness of the two sides to develop and strengthen ties in various fields. He also requested the Minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of further development for the Kingdom and its people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs hailed the distinguished relations between the two brotherly countries, highlighting the strategic role of Egypt in consolidating regional security and peace. He also praised the Egyptian positions in preserving Arab national security and defending their causes, affirming the solidarity of the Kingdom of Bahrain with Egypt in all measures it takes to protect its national security and defend its sovereignty and interests. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Egypt, Sam Shukri, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Arab Republic of Egypt and Permanent Representative to the League of Arab States, Hisham Mohammed al joder and uh, the spokesman uh, for the Egyptian Presidency, Bassam Radi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid al-Zayani, met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Egypt, Samah Shukri, as part of the minister's visit to Egypt. The two ministers held talks at the Tahrir Palace in Cairo, where they emphasized the depth of strategic relations between the two countries. The two foreign ministers also agreed to take more measures to enhance aspects of bilateral economic investment and trade cooperation for the benefit of both countries and people. The two sides also discussed ways to intensify joint work aimed at enhancing stability and highlighted the importance of facing foreign inventions aimed at undermining security and stability in the region. They also agreed on the need to coordinate positions regarding the new meeting of the League of Arab States Council at the ministerial level in a way that supports joint Arab action. Minister Shukri expressed the appreciation of Egypt for the support provided by Bahrain to the Egyptian community residing in the kingdom following the outbreak of COVID-19, while Minister Zayani valued the role of the Egyptian community in achieving economic and social development in the kingdom. At the regional level, the two sides discussed the prominent developments and challenges in the region, especially the development in the situation in Libya and the Palestinian issue, where the two ministers expressed the welcome of Egypt and Bahrain to any initiatives aimed at achieving a comprehensive and just peace for the Palestinian cause based on the decisions of international legitimacy, with an emphasis on the need to preserve the principle of the two-state solution and to stop any steps aimed at annexing the Palestinian territories. As for Libya, they stressed their support for a uh, consensual political solution that preserves the sovereignty and unity of Libya and fulfills the aspirations of the Libyan people toward security and stability. They also affirmed the importance of confronting terrorism and destructive foreign interferences, reiterating their support for the current initiatives and call for a ceasefire, the formation of a new presidential council and a fair distribution of the country's resources. Minister Shukri reaffirmed the position of Egypt in support of Bahrain and the brothers in the Arab Gulf and facing any challenges threatening their security and stability. The meeting was attended by senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Egypt and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Egypt and the Permanent Representative to the League of Arab States, Hisham Mohammed al joder The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, praised the Kingdom's keenness to join the international community in marking the International Day of Charity celebrated annually on September 5th. She stressed that thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's humanitarian approach and directives, charity work has become a culture in Bahrain deeply rooted in the Bahraini society throughout the Kingdom's long history. She stated that the values of giving and social solidarity are adopted by individuals, social segments and families in addition to charity funds and entities. Ms. Zainal paid tribute to the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for successfully achieving the Millennium Development Goals and continuous efforts to achieve sustainable development goals. She highlighted the unwavering parliamentary support for implementing social security measures and systems aimed at ensuring the requirements of decent life for the citizens. The Speaker expressed deep 
pride in the landmark initiatives launched to encourage productive families through the award of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, and various programs and projects launched by the STW to promote social charity values. She commended the distinguished role played by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and RHF Board of Trustees, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to highlight the authentic Bahraini values of giving and solidarity at the local and regional levels, as well as delivering relief and humanitarian aid to brotherly and friendly countries and implementing development projects there in accordance with a modern vision of charity and humanitarian work. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain boosts a distinguished history in the field of charity work, both regional and internationally. Al Saleh affirmed that this is the fruitful outcome of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's will and humanitarian approach, as well as direct support for delivering charity and relief aid to brotherly and friendly countries. In a statement marking the International Day of Charity on September 5th, Al Saleh affirmed that the government, led by His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has put forward and implemented the necessary strategies and plans that promote charity and a social work to ensure decent life for the citizens. He also praised the government's keenness to allocate budgets and launch ambitious projects that consolidate the charitable work march. The Chura Chairman paid tribute to the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs national Security Advisor, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Board of Trustees, Chairman of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the landmark achievements attained by the RHF under his leadership regarding the implementation of multiple charity programs and the care for widows and orphans. He stressed that social solidarity is reflected in the cohesive Bahraini society, citing the massive participation in the Fin Nakhir campaign launched by the RHF to support these segments that have been affected by the novel coronavirus COVID-19. He affirmed uh, that the humanitarian approach adopted by the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King is manifested in the humanitarian initiative launched based on royal directives, citing the Isa Award for Service to Humanity and the King Hamad Youth Empowerment Award in addition to the establishment of the RHF. He stressed that the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King will remain a beacon of humanitarian work and will achieve more pioneering accomplishments in the field of charity work with the solidarity of its people and keenness to adhere to the values and principles emanated from uh, the precepts of the Islamic religion and the authentic Bahraini traditions. The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, the SEA, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, will participate in the main session of the Bahraini Egyptian Investment Forum to be held on Tuesday via video conference. The virtual forum is organized by the Bahrain Businessmen Association and the Egyptian Businessmen Association, EBA, in coordination with the embassies of the two countries. Dr. Mirza said that the forum will provide a unique platform that brings together an elite of decision makers and businessmen from various fields in the two brotherly countries, allowing them the the opportunity to explore the areas of joint investment and commercial cooperation. He noted that the event will support two, the two countries' economies, attract bilateral investments and strengthen the common bonds between them to achieve their development and economic goals. SEA President added that investing in the fields of renewable energy and energy efficiency and increasing their contribution to the economic development march has become more imperative under the current circumstances requiring countries to look for investment solutions that achieve growth within the framework of sustainability at all levels, in particular the energy field. The remote forum will focus on the importance of increasing bilateral trade exchange investment opportunities available in the two countries, attracting capital especially in the production and service sectors. It will also focus on increasing the opportunities to benefit from the role of strategic locations of the Bahraini market, which is an important gateway to the wider Gulf Cooperation Council market. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain will join other nations in the world in celebrating the International Day of Charity, which it falls annually on the 5th of September. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, hailed Bahrain's strides in promoting the charity world and giving full priority to citizens in all national programs led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He paid tribute to His Majesty the King, hailing the Royal Directives to step up RHF efforts to bolster community ties, contribute to the sustainable development, and build an inclusive society. He praised the support of the government shared by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, hailing the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also praised the efforts exerted by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor, and RHF Board of Trustees Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Arab Republic of Egypt and permanent representative to the League of Arab States, Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodar, chaired the delegation of Bahrain at the meeting of the Economic and Social Council at the ministerial level in its 106th ordinary session, which was held through virtual communication technology. During the meeting, the council approved a set of recommendations and decisions related to economic and social issues and followed up on the implementation of the decisions of the 105th session of the council held in February 2000. The Council also reviewed a number of issues including the implementation of the Greater Arab Free Trade Zone and the Arab Customs Union and the tax challenges arising from the digital economy, Arab economy and others. The Ministerial Council also discussed the efforts of the Arab League in facing COVID-19 and directed to continue efforts to coordinate between the Arab League, member states, ministerial councils and specialized committees with partners to enhance efforts aimed at containing the pandemic. As for the social and economic aspects, the Council affirmed its support for the Lebanese Republic following the Beirut port explosion, praising the urgent humanitarian and medical aid provided by Arab countries in that regard. The Council also discussed means of enhancing regional and international cooperation through reviewing the Unified Arab Economic Report for 2020 and examining the Arab group's joint cooperation with the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank on the sidelines of the group's upcoming annual meetings during this year. Benefit Bahrain's leading company in fintech and electronic financial transaction services announced the official launch of Tap and Go, a new contactless payment method for benefit pay users, enabling them to make digital purchases at POS machines using only their Android smartphones. The Tap and Go contactless payment method allows benefit pay users to make secure digital payments through POS machines to purchase a variety of goods and services throughout various locations around Bahrain and distinguish itself through its ease of use, only requiring the user to place their smartphone next to a POS machine to complete their contactless payment. The payment method provides a high level of security and operates on a system of tokenization wherein the user's bank details are stored in a safe vault that transmits ensuring users that no one can access their personal information. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,576 with 310 new recoveries, 662 registered new cases and five deaths. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.